And Jen says, uh, I'm going to start using Voxer Days as a way to help people verbally process and plan their marketing content, plan their marketing strategy in 2023. Do you or anyone else already use Voxer and have advice, boundaries, et cetera, to put in place? I'm sure there are things I'm not thinking about, but wanted somebody else's brain on this idea. So good for you. Uh, I think this is a wonderful way to add value to uh, any program. And um, so this is the exact language that I use in my accelerator program, which by the way, we have a couple of spots left. This is an amazing group we have for January. Um, and if you want in, you know, I stopped doing accelerator. I put it on pause uh, because there was a lot of complicated things happening in my world. Um, but I'm so excited that we're, that we're launching this again in January. So just message me if you're interested. Okay, so this is what the language from the accelerator. I say, I'm available by Voxer Monday through Thursdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Friday, 9 a.m. to noon. Please don't contact me via Facebook Messenger because I miss those, and I do. I miss those all the time. I really can't stand Facebook Messenger. I mean, I use it sometimes, but don't love it. Um, very important in the beginning, if you're going to use Voxer, to say in the beginning and make sure everybody understands that when the program ends, their access to you on Voxer ends, okay? Um, and so, and then the way that you do that is when the program is over, you, it sounds so bad. I think technically you have to block them. There's no way to say like remove from contacts. The good news is that if they try to contact you after you have removed them or slash block them, they don't, it doesn't say Allison has blocked you. It says, it, it doesn't say anything. It just shows as Allison never sees the message because you know how Voxer shows you when someone sees it. So I just think it's really important that you be clear about that so you don't end up in that awkward situation at the end because people have asked me that question on these calls like, hey, these people are still Voxering me, but like, you know, I'm not on retainer with them anymore. Um, and then the other thing that you that, uh, that I've seen people do is to have an actual, and it really depends on what, what works best for you. It might be that you want your, um, your Voxer days to always be on Wednesdays, and that's the only day you want to do it. So all day long, nine to five, you can have it so that people are Voxering you, and you know that that's your day for Voxer, and that's it. But you could still, what's so great is you could still go to the grocery store. You could still, you know, you could still go and do things, but you just know that you're like a doctor on call and your, your phone's going to be ringing and you, you're going to make that day open so that you could step outside and help anybody anytime uh, they need your help. So it's really up to you, but it's, you know, whatever days work for you and whatever windows work for you, and then just make it really clear, especially about access ending.